Hey guys, it's me again. I went ahead and I pulled the stamps out of their packaging. And I went ahead and opened the Wild Hair color box. I'll have to find a rubber band because i got to get this back to the cottage with me. But we're going to see how these stamp out. And I've got baby wipes here to clean them up. So I'll just... Well, they're nice to hold. We'll see if they do anything. All right, well, here we go. Let's see. Of course, they're not, they don't squish like a rubber stamp. Oh, nope, they don't do a thing. So, Rosa, maybe you're right. Maybe they're just to look at. Yeah, it's just, it's not wanting. I bet if I had some foam underneath this or something, maybe. Something that would make, give it a give. Because I am getting some of the design. See, some of it shows up. Let's try the elephant. So this is a lesson learned here. Or maybe it's to use with um, something more dense, like some paint. So yeah, they're not even picking up. All right. I'm going to pause y'all and see if I can find some foam or something to put underneath it. I'll be right back. All right. I got this uh, file, not file, uh, foam mailer. And I got a little, this is the gray ink right here. And it did a little better. But then I got a little bit of golden paint and I put a little bit out on this paper and spread it back and forth with my finger and then just went across this stamp and that's how I got that print there. So they do show up with paint a little bit better and I cleaned it off and it came pretty clean with the baby wipe. But I think Rose is right unless somebody comes back with no you're using them wrong or whatever. But I think Rosa Gomez is correct in thinking they're just to look at. So I have two very pretty things to look at, it looks like. I'm going to try the elephant and see. I just put just a little bit of golden paint out. This is some of that paint that I got. That's probably a lot of golden paint in that bag of paint that one time. So, And I just kind of went like this. Now, if I had my brayer, I'd spray it, you know, spread it out with the brayer and go from there. And I got too much paint down in there. So we'll see what I get. Here comes Greg. He's going to be making noise. I'm going to give you a quick squish here and we'll see what we get. Ugh. Well, it kind of does. All right, so Rosa, you're right. These are just to look at. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I went looking on YouTube, and I found to use these. These are made in India, according to the, their, where they come from, basically. I don't know if these were actually made in India or not. Yep, yeah, it says made in India. And they use these a lot for um, printing on fabric. But what you have to do is you have to have some type of sponge. And they were using, on the one video that I watched, they were actually using a car wash sponge, like you would buy to wash your car, and then just cut it up. Well, this is what I had. This was on one of those, um, it's half sponge, half scrubber. And what they did, and these are kind of narrow, they just dip it in the water, and squeeze it out so that it's damp but not dripping okay then they had some paint out which I forgot to do that part so I might have to okay I'll dip that back in the water and just give it a little squeeze 
and then they dip it in this and then they just pat it on and then the other key is you've got to have some like fun foam underneath your paper so I don't know if this padded envelope is gonna work or not but we will get this elephant inked up I don't know if I've got enough paint here to do him and they said the key is to try to keep the paint going only on the part that's white don't get it down in the grooves if you can help it because that's when you end up with solid places let's see how he prints out it's a lot different than with our rubber stamps you do have to put some pressure to it <gasps> that's much better I think I just need a little bit more practice you guys and then I'll be able to use these see there so I'm not giving up hope in fact I'm kind of falling in love with them and I'm thinking if I had some uh, plain white cotton fabric I might get my fabric paints out and paint with those and then I could turn these into like a makeup bag or a little pencil pouch or something that would be awesome so don't give up until you research um, if you try something one way the way that you've always done it sometimes you have to research and find the way to use them properly all right I'm gonna go clean these up so they don't get stained and thank y'all for watching bye now